Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between UAE and uh, why am I blanking out? Between <laughs> UAE and Netherlands. Yes, yeah, it's been that kind of year for me. But yes, this is between UAE and Netherlands and it's going to be played again at Geelong. And uh, before I show you the pitch and ground dimensions again, keep in mind that fan to play has a Renault car in store for you. And you know that their contests don't have too much of competition. It's about three, four, five thousand spots of people that are generally playing. And you have an entry fee of only rupees 40. And at, the best part is it rewards consistency. It's not like you had exactly. one bad day and luck didn't work for you. So you lost out on the race. It's the long horse battle. And yep. uh, I have someone who's obsessed with cars here with me, Nikhil Bhai, and he'll tell you more about this one. I'm only obsessed with cars. I'm not driving or anything, but that the car was what was making you stammer and forget and blank out. So that <laughs> is the power that you have cars, and I want them for my daughter. Right? That's a different debate. Let's not get there. But uh, yes, again, the point is you do take your risk, whatever you want to do on platform that rewards that kind of gameplay. And mm. we've said that said, we've said this in the past, or Vapis may come up. Fandom will have to easily team Banane Hogi. Paach mm. all-rounder. Sunne me lagta hai ki zyada difference nahi. Aap team bana ke dekho, aapko pata chalega. Aap kitne zyada better in control team bana paate ho. Even keeping in mind ki jaisi jaisi unpredictability hoti hai games mein. But bahut dafa aisa hota hai ki aapko nahi chahiye dost se zyada bowler. Aapko mm. nahi chahiye dost se zyada batter. Kyunki all-rounder mein better option hai. And the other platform is playing on that platform. Yes, the other side also can make. But at least you are sure that what I'm visualizing about the game, I'm able to make a team according to that. I think that is very important. Then you make multiple combinations and then you're calling the car. Bula hai. Absolutely. So on that note, we'll start with the preview yeah. for this game. And uh, first up, we'll look at the ground dimensions of yes. G-Long. Which, like Nikhil Bai says, is sort of G long. So here we can see the fine leg boundary on one side, yeah. super short, obviously, when you're batting from that end, and other side yeah. very long at 81 meters. Apart from that, pretty much even, and from whatever we know about the pitch, and like we know of most Australian pitches, no unique information here, a lot of pace and bounce, and maybe some grass up front too when the pitch is fresh. Yes. And also something to keep in mind. You will listen to the second game at the venue. So please see what's happening in the first game. Hmm. Make small notes. This World Cup will be decided by conditions. Not literally toss, but conditions. So no, conditions are going to matter. Konsa bowler, konsa inche dal rahe. Spinner ek hi inche dal rahe kya. Dusre inche nahi dal rahe kya problem hai. Ye sare reason dekho. Kungi then, jab hum post match bet ke analyze karte hai ki kya ho gaya. These are the small things that matter. Ki yaar, acha bowler hai. But long boundary, dusra empathy, wo ya don't dal yahan pe raha. So those hmm. things also may, make a difference. So uh, firstly, all fans, MJ not up. I think we can give him a shootout right through the World Cup because these things are very important. Ground conditions matter because teams are going to select their teams and plans according to that. So it will be stupid of us to ignore them completely and say, "Kaise fark nahi padega." Absolutely. So that is all about the ground that we currently know. But yes, if you get that pre-broadcast and pre-coverage, yeah. you must have a look at it because that will dictate yeah. most of it to you. Then let's look at the team for this specific game. And we are obviously favoring Netherlands a little more with the, with the amount of cricket that they've played and the kind of opponents yeah. that they've played. So in the keeping section, we are going with Scott Edwards. And in the batting section, you have really quality options in Tom Cooper and Max. Now, who is your third batter or is there a third batter for you, Nikhil Bhai? Uh, I think third batter will be there. Uh, primarily because I feel in this particular game, I hmm. am slightly confused between going with UA's actual strength. That is somewhat their options in the, in the bowling section. But hmm. it is the batters who are in better nick. Uh, Rizwan recently scored his maiden who had done. Wasim scored a century. Uh, Chirag Sur is always there and scoring runs for them. So that is a bit that I'm still trying to understand. Maybe I'll take a call post the first game. Okay, if they are chasing, maybe I'll take two batters from them and hmm. take two bowlers only. So that is the kind of dilemma I am as of now. Because there's Ritya Arvind as well who is very good but his form is not good. 
बट ही माइट बैट इन द मिडिल ओवर्स एंड अगर वो कीपिंग भी कर रहे हैं तो मेरे को वहां से भी पॉइंट्स चाहिए सो दैट इज द एग्जैक्ट डिलेमा दैट आई हैव राइट नाउ इन माय माइंड अभी के लिए आई प्रोबली गो विद वसीम बिकॉज़ आई फील दिस फार टू एक्सपीरियंस दिस प्लेयर अ लॉट ऑफ गेम्स ऑल ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड तो होपिंग दैट ही कैन अडैप्ट बट यू ऑलवेज हैव सूरी रिजवान आपको जिसके साथ जाना है आप बिल्कुल जा सकते हो देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन देयर right absolutely then let's look at the all rounder section yep. here we will obviously go with logan van beek and baster lady both of them will be very yep. important and can actually even end up bowling full quota in these kind of conditions yes. third all rounder probably basil hamid if he plays yep. uh, what are your views on kashif daud because he can move the ball a bit up front and maybe get some bounce too from such tracks uh yes i think that can that is definitely a good option as i said the problem here is they have enough good options uh, in the bowling section but hmm. who plays who gets the new ball first uh, that i think is a concern for me that their usage of bowling and this year has been crazy with the usage of bowling uh, hmm. maxwell is bowled two overs on his birthday but stoinis who once game time did not get any ball in the 12 over shootout so again those are just putting things in context ke teams will try out a few stuff at the start of the tournament so hmm. if you plays they are bowling first and if you see in the first game ke early moment hai so you can definitely go ahead and uh, pick him or you could always opt for a junaid siddiqui or you also have other options from them in the bowling section right so in the bowling section i think fred classen and glover will be locks because of the bounce that they get last pick would be junaid siddiqui because again he's a quality pacer and we saw what he did against west indies in the warm up game exactly so which is why i said where i was more tempted towards junaid to uh, in that hmm. regards and you have kartik mayapan as well there are plenty of options as i said with hmm. uae uh, now when you play enough p10 and all those tournaments you get to realize that okay what is the potential that these guys have because you don't get to see them often on the international hmm. stage which is obviously sad to see but against netherlands if they bat first we know there are enough options that netherlands have who can test them so then you have to make your team accordingly try and pick bowlers who can bat and then somebody like a junaid sudeki can still strike in the second innings because hmm. he's that good a bowler so vaisa i think that's how you have to visualize your in the starting of a tournament your visualization matters the most because you'll either be in the top 2% or you'll be out of the winning zone because of the right. time because of the types of games that are likely to happen and hmm. uh, so i think uske hisab se i'll say sl mein safe jao and uh, jo bhi risk lena hai aapke mini gels mein bilkul bilkul plan kar sakte bilkul so last pick like nikhil bhai mentioned can be someone who can bat and bowl so either it can be kashif daud but if you feel like it's going to be batting favorable then you can go with chirag suri too yeah. so for now assuming the all rounder plays we'll go with him and you can yeah. switch that around based on the playing yeah. 11 Now coming to captaincy, vice captaincy choices. Do you go straight with Bash the Lady and Logan Van Beek because conditions favor them? Batting will be explosive from both of them too, so a lot of boundary points. Or do you feel like you have a differential choice? Uh, my differential choice will definitely be whoever bowls first hmm. in terms of a very grandly fixed choice. But for my normal seven uh, to eleven member and about counters that I usually play. It is good to be Bashdeli than Basil. Basil also is also a decent option, uh, mm. but apart from them, I think Logan and uh, uh, Bashdeli they are pretty safe options to try out uh, mm. because again, I am not going to trust batters that early in a tournament uh, where you know new ball movement could come in very handy. So again, we right. keep saying conditions are important. Uske saath we are going with a very fail-safe kind of a. options but yeah hmm. whoever bowls first you could try class in glover junaid siddiqui if they bowl first what if we could spill the surprise for you take a hmm. few early wickets then that gives the then that opens the game up completely so then you can go with uh, plenty of options that you have here fair call so for now we'll opt with the pace all rounders to round up this team and this is what the team finally looks like with the keeper scott edwards three batters wasim max and tom cooper four all rounders kashif daud basil hamid bastelidi and logan van beek who are captain and vice captain and three bowlers siddiqui brandon glover and fred classen yeah so that is the round up of the team for us and uh, we also want to hear 
from Nikhil by one interesting GL pick who he feels is going to make the click for me. If Netherlands are bowling first, I'm going to go with Fred Klassen as that one pick. Who is it for you, Nikhil Bhai? Uh, I am, as I said, very tempted to go with Hrithi uh, Arvin. I feel hmm. he's a very class uh, potential. He will not have the best of times recently, but I do feel he can really break the back of any game uh, in very limited amount of time hmm. as well because he has that kind of hitting as well. You could also try Zahul Khan if you feel that, you know, he's not selected by many as as, as of now. Uh, he hmm. could be a very, very great grandly pick for you because these are the kind of bowlers who come in and surprise you. Uh, if they click, they are both great grandly choices. So, I think we have good options. Right. So, he's giving you a, a keeper as a grand league choice. I mean, he has thought a lot. So, keep that in mind and uh, don't be surprised if he's my vice captain to in mini GS tomorrow. <laughs> and if he's not, then we will do one more thing for Bill Fand. Ne ke liye <laughs> So, anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for joining yeah. us, Nikhil Bhai. And thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, share it with everyone. And yeah. download the fan to play app right now. Link is in the description. So, go do it right away. And all the good luck for the upcoming game. Yes, I'll just add one thing here. Ke, just at the right start of the tournament, ke, decide how you want to play. If you want to play safe, play safe. But if you want to play risky... Be ready to lose to win. Uh, don't jump on the horse if you win and even if you lose. You have hmm. to back your process. If you're winning by playing safe once, do that for 10 games and then change your mind. But if hmm. you're going risky, if you win, great. If you lose, don't break the house down. So these are just our understanding, our picks. They can definitely differ. Nobody is going to force you to play with the same team. Make your own team. Make multiple teams. That's when you also realize ke, what kind of player you are. So that's uh, not time to save a few comments, but just time to save a few peace of mind for a lot of us involved. So yeah, have a good game. Happy winnings. Right, absolutely. And tell us your GL pick too. Abhi itna yes. ek -ek GL pick discuss kar liya. Aap bhi apna bata do. We'll also pick your brains a bit. Thank you yes. so much for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.